Good morning, distinguished delegates, health care leaders, and colleagues. My name is Edwin Lofton. I am the Senior Vice President of Integrated and Acute Care and Chief Nursing Officer at Parrish Medical Center in Titusville, Florida. It is my great honor to be here among the world's patient safety leaders and champions who have assembled to join the Patient Safety Movement Foundation to achieve zero preventable deaths by 2020. It is further my great honor to represent the first hospital system within the Patient Safety Movement Foundation's network to commit to all actionable patient safety solutions and to receive the first ever five-star patient safety hospital ranking. Joe, we're humbled. One of the first questions I'm often asked is why, followed by how. Why do we commit to patient safety? Well, that's easy. Every patient, no, every person's life matters. Committing to zero by 2020 is the right thing to do. And like most things worth doing, it isn't easy. It, take work. it takes work. It takes work and commitment. It takes work, commitment, and action. How do we achieve and sustain such an impeccable safety record? Parish Medical Center isn't a multi-hospital system with unlimited resources. <clears throat> we are a humble, public, not-for-profit, independent community hospital serving a population of around 100,000 lives on Florida's Space Coast. The commitment our care partners, key term for us, it's not staff, it's not employees, it's care partners. <clears throat> Make to applying each and every actual patient safety solution comes from the heart and from a deep love and respect for our community and our fellow men, women, children, and families. Since the foresight of the leaders and leadership of Parish Medical Center's president and CEO, George Mkhitaryan, we set our strategic direction with an emphasis on quality and safety to levels that had not existed before. We set goals based on that plan and used the talents and skills of our care partners, like the Patient Safety Movement Foundation, to pursue those goals to the benefit of every person, every family, and everyone who comes in contact with our healthcare system and our network. I share three brief examples of our commitments with you today. First, related to neonatal safety, is a practice that is done in several European countries but has not been widely adapted throughout the United States. Zero harm and preventable deaths start at birth. Therefore, therefore we must eliminate preventable infant deaths. One of the factors related to sudden infant de death syndrome, or SIDS, is co-bedding, especially when new parents have limited resources. Adopting the model from Finland and other, and other European countries, Parish is one of the few hospitals in the United States to provide baby boxes to all families at no cost. The box is an instant, safe sleeping space for the newborn. It includes a mattress, as well as several supplies for the new life. Parish has been providing baby boxes at no cost for two years now, and there have been no co-bedding deaths in our population. Second is an example of sustainability. Reaching a performance improvement goal or a safety goal is hard enough, but even harder is sustaining that new standard. Around 2006, Parrish adopted, adopted the ventilator safety bundle and adopted the practice for our setting. We had buy-in from everyone, from providers, physicians, respiratory, RNs, pharmacy, supply management, and most importantly, from persons and their families. Due to, the, due to the adoption and relentless commitment to the ventilator bundle, no person has, an acquired, has acquired a ventilator-associated pneumonia in our organization in over 12 years. We have intentional... <laughs> Thank you. We have intentional gut checks on a routine basis to hold the team ourselves accountable to assure that we do not become complacent, the enemy of patient safety. We have other prevention activities that have similar results. Finally, and third example, one of the most basic principles in infection prevention has been proven across our industry to be the most difficult, 
the simple act of effective hand hygiene. It's a struggle for many healthcare settings even today. Parish, like many other organizations, has had multiple times of focus and education, yet we have not been able to achieve 100% sustained compliance. As a focus of our culture of safety, our safe care culture team, <coughs> excuse me, is tackling this again, and we believe once and for all. On the 1st of March of 2018 of this year, our governing board will be committing to our safe care culture pledge as a leading example for all of our care partners and publicly to the community. This will be followed by mandatory education for all care partners. <clears throat> a team, in addition, a team of specially trained uh, secret shoppers will serve to test and hold accountable our 100% commitment to hand hide, effective and timely hand hygiene. We look forward to reporting next year at this summit a sustained 100% compliance. Why do we do this? Because safety matters. Zero matters. It is only through our safe practices that we achieve and more importantly sustain an impeccable, impeccable safety record. It is through our safe practices that we safeguard the lives of those persons that we have the honor to partner in care. It is an honor to work with the Patient Safety Movement Foundation and each and every one of you. Thank you for your safe care and for your committing to zero harm on the behalf of all persons and all people that we collectively have the honor to serve. Thank you.